Hello, I'm Clark Atkins, a cardiologist from North Carolina State University. I'm pleased to give you the final installment on a three-part seminar evaluating treatment in dogs with heart failure or heart disease. Our first session focused on briefly the pathophysiology of congestive heart failure, the body's response to a fallen cardiac output, and which drugs would work at which stage or which reaction to the fallen cardiac output. We learned that these drugs worked oftentimes in multiple areas, so a drug might have an effect in various areas of the response to a fallen cardiac output. We followed this up with an overview of the mechanisms of action of drugs used to treat heart failure, but particularly those drugs which have been approved for use in treatment of heart disease in Europe. The second installment involved the treatment of mitral valvular insufficiency both prior to and after the onset of heart failure. We explored a new method of classifying heart disease in the dog and then we followed up with the recommendations of the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine consensus panel on mitral valvular disease and what was re recommended at each stage of cardiac disease and which recommendations carried a majority even if it didn't include a consensus recommendation. Today, we're going to talk about the treatment of dilated cardiomyopathy in the dog. And unfortunately, as yet, there is no consensus statement on this disease, so these will be basically my recommendations. Dilated cardiomyopathy is an idiopathic disease, probably of genetic basis, at least in some breeds, Certainly, there have been nutritional causes of dilated cardiomyopathy, uh, for example, those involving carnitine and taurine in specific breeds. But as you can see, this disease involves a, an enlarged heart, thin-walled heart, and a hypocontractile heart, oftentimes affected by mild but probably clinically significant mitral insufficiency. I'd like to talk with you first about the treatment of occult dilated cardiomyopathy, meaning the disease prior to the onset of any signs. And this diagnosis is generally made by the use of uh, cardiac ultrasound or echocardiography, uh, and it is oftentimes carried out in breeds which are suspect of developing cardiomyopathy or which have had family members or litter mates affected.